that kind of music before. It's very often called a uh, bottleneck slide guitar. Uh, this is not a bottleneck. This is a deep well socket. But in the early days, people would take a bottle, break the neck off, and uh, or find a, uh, a pill bottle the right size, put it on their finger, and they would play uh, with that. And um, I get these at uh, a local pawn shop around here. You can get them for like 50 cents a piece. If you're interested in learning to uh, play this kind of music, you can get those a lot less expensive than you can in a music store. Also... It's a little weird if you go into a uh, like a auto parts store and you tell them I want a deep well socket and they they ask you okay what size and, uh, <clears throat> and then you probably say well I don't know uh, let me try some on <laughs> which is a little strange in a parts store I've ended up with uh, 18 millimeter uh, the the size that works for me. <laughs> And this guitar is another one of my special favorite guitars. This is Opa. And um, Opa is about 100 years old. Bought him from uh, a friend who had got the guitar at a yard sale somewhere for $10, fixed it up a little bit, and he was needing some money, so I gave him 40 bucks for it, and I brought it home, and Already the you know the necks like leaning forward a little bit from the uh, uh, from the body. I don't know if it's uh, something you can see on that, but those strings are really high off of uh, off of the fingerboard here, which makes it impossible really to play it. Except if you use your 18 millimeter socket. And so for the longest time, I had this guitar just hanging on the wall. Figured, yeah, you know, forty dollars for decoration. Yeah, okay. And I just hung it on the wall. And then one day I watched this whole this movie called uh, Crossroads with Ralph Macchio. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's basically a remake of the Karate Kid, except for in this story, the old mentor gentleman in this in the story is a blues musician and. And uh, Ralph Macchio breaks him out of a retirement home for felons and takes him on this pursuit of a uh, a lost song by Robert Johnson. Anyway, in that in that movie, there was a lot of this bottleneck slide guitar um, music being played, and I liked it. I'm sitting there watching that and I hear this voice behind me saying hey I can do that and I turn around and it's Opa he's hanging on the wall up here he says I can do that and I said no you can't you're almost 100 years old you're old no I can do that so I took him down and I found my 18 millimeter socket played a little bit and I thought my goodness he can still bring it, even when he's 100 years old. And um, they're calling me Opa now. Opa is a, a German nickname for grandfather. And I have uh, five grandkids now. And they call me Opa. So I can kind of relate to, to this old guy. My, ne my back is not bent like that, for which I'm very thankful. But... Um, it reminds me of an old guy that I used to play guitar with named Willie Houston, who was in Denver. He was an old blues man from Louisiana. And uh, I got into his band with uh, a couple other people, a drummer, a friend, and a keyboard friend. And and we would back him up. And he was, I don't know how old, he, you know, he was certainly about 90 or maybe more than 90. He never, never really told me. But this old guy... Uh, when he, we'd get on the phone, and uh, I'd say, how you doing, Willie? And he'd say, well, I'm still breathing. And I like the way he said that, because here's this guy, you know, probably 90 years old, and still optimism in his voice. And he was still out playing music and doing what he 
what he loved. I mean, we would get to the gig and literally have to help him up on the stage, and he would sit in a chair. I would hand him his guitar and then put the strap around his neck and turn his amp on for him, and then he would lean into the microphone, and he would go, yes, yes, yes. And everybody would start screaming. You know, it was amazing. And uh, so I really appreciated that about him, about being... Um, you know, that old and still out playing music and doing what he loved. And I, I just um, have been discovering more and more as I get older that really mentally I'm still probably 30 years old, probably. My body's a little older. I had uh, open heart surgery a few months ago, but I'm back in the game and I'm still full of vision and still full of direction. And I guess the point in that is if you're still breathing, like Willie said, I'm still breathing, then there's still a chance that your dreams might come true. There's still a chance that vision might be fulfilled. Um, no matter what your situation is, there's there's still a hope for the future. So anyway, Opa is uh, going to accompany me on a song that we wrote at the uh, Larimer County Jail in our women's songwriting workshop there. Next time I call Honey, please pick up the phone Next time I call Won't you please pick up the phone It feels like I'm part of nothing When I just sit here all alone Yes, we are wired to give love To be loved and to belong Wired to give love To be loved and to belong connection or something deep inside goes wrong Yes, we're moms and dads and daughters aunts and uncles too We're cousins, sons and brothers There's grandmas in here too Abuse, neglect and sorrow The hard hand we've been dealt When freedom comes tomorrow I hope you treat me well Special favorite. 